It's a story you'll only see on 12 News tonight. New procedures to give women the look they want. From getting shots in their foot to removing fat from their calves, it seems women and men, maybe, will do whatever it takes to fit into their favorite pair of shoes. Tram Mai is here to explain, and Tram, you're kind of scaring us. Yeah, it is <laughs> a little bit scary. You know the saying, beauty knows no pain, right? Whether you want to fit into your killer heels or beautiful boots, there's a growing number of women ready to take a step towards easing the pain with what doctors are calling lube jobs and boot surgeries. They're fancy, fun, sexy, sparkly, and dramatic. Love them. Can't live without them. Making women feel sexier in them, a little bit more polished. Oh my goodness, I wear hair heels every day. In fact, I only own one pair of low shoes. The heel, usually in between a three and a four inch heel. The bigger, the better. Four, maybe four and a half. As high as I can get it. <laughs> Even if it means a plump for their pump. That's where Dr. Carrie Zhang steps in. Women love their high heels. No matter what, they're going to wear them. But over time, the padding on the balls of your feet can wear down. And when you squeeze 26 bones, 32 joints, and 103 ligaments into a tight, narrow shoe with a back-breaking arch, ouch! But wait, not anymore. It does make a significant difference. It is a derma filler injection made of polylactic acid and feels like a gummy bear. How? Dr. Zhang first cleanses and sterilizes your feet. A cold spray helps numb the area, and in goes the shot. Four to five injections per foot. We inject, we inject in, and we inject when we're pulling out so that where the needle was, it fills it in with the fluid. The result? The patient should feel like they're walking on a cushion. For up to a year and a half, and we're talking no surgery. We're now plumped up. This is the only time you can really tell a woman you plumped up nicely. <laughs> or how about a lube job? That's what plastic surgeon Dr. Daniel Shapiro calls it. From, you know, Louboutin shoes. Same concept, but different tissue fillers like Restylane, Juvederm, and Radiesse for that long-lasting lift. So you're literally using stuff that is used for their face into their feet. We do, and, and it works well. It works well. But some women are kicking their shoe obsession up a notch. I've always had the Kinko label. And how does that make you feel? Mm, not really sexy, not having sexy, you know, legs. Jessica Thompson says she's always had a problem zipping up her boots. My calf areas are really big, and like when I am um, putting on sandals, I'm really good here, and then I get about right here, and I have no luck. I have no luck. Um, I have to go for more, generally, the stretchier type of boot. Yeah. So she's considering liposuction for her legs, right a request Dr. Shapiro is seeing more and more and performing. I do something called Bezier High Definition Liposuction uh, that is something that I learned in South America. And basically what that does is it helps tighten the skin along with contouring uh, the fat to bring out the, the shape of the muscle bodies. Why are people wanting these boot surgeries? A lot of it has to do with what people see in the spotlight. A lot of these, you know, high, sexy boots have been in style for, you know, for three, four years now. And, and I do see more people now coming in that, that request the ability to have the freedom um, to wear those styles. So yes, I think that we see it more commonly and I think there's a correlation with, with fashion. Even if it means going the extreme to look good. Just to be able to pull off that, that, that look of oversized sweaters and skinny jeans and riding boots. Now, Dr. Daniel Shapiro says he does not recommend calf reductions for everyone. In case you're wondering about the foot fillers, men also get them done, too, so they can be comfortable in their shoes, not their heels. The procedure will run you up to $2,500 for both feet. We'll be right back with sports.